Hello, I'm Tammy Petrocelli, and I'm in that little state of Delaware, the USA. And welcome to Energy Healing and Spirit Talk with Tammy Petrocelli live. We're going to come to you every Tuesday from 3.15 to 3.30. Today is my introductory show, my debut uh, to all of my friends around the world. So even though I'm on the East Coast, I want to say hello to all of my friends across the United States and across the world. So I hope that maybe you guys have stayed up a little later in Australia and uh, India, my friends there and in the UK. So uh, what are we going to do? We are going to talk about different things. It's kind of what's your topic day. So every Tuesday, I'm going to be picking a different topic on the many um, things that I do here. I have a little business called Pike Creek Reiki and Healing Arts Center. And here we do Reiki and readings and reflexology and aura photography assessments, uh, foot detox, all kinds of things. Uh, Fridays, I have Facebook Friday where you can communicate with me there and you pick the topic and I'll answer the question. Sometimes I uh, deal Oracle cards and we will be having, not today, but we will be having uh, callers um, get a free reading uh, online and I'm already booked a month in advance. So if you get to come in in a week, you are lucky. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I am a Reiki master teacher. Uh, I am also an author, an ordained non-denominational minister, a certified sound healer, a certified medical Reiki master, a meditation yogini, a transitional doula. Uh, I also do healing touch, reflexology. I'm certified in magnified healing, aromatherapy, crystal therapy, uh, smudging and homeopathics, uh, essential oils all used in my practice here. So this is why it is called energy healing and spirit talk, because we're going to cover all of those things uh, every Tuesday. You just don't know which one we're going to cover from week to week. So don't forget to listen in or watch later. So uh, I will tell you a little bit about myself in uh, 20 12, my youngest graduated high school and she went off to college. And, you know, I woke up one day and realized that for 43 years, because my oldest is 12 years older than, than my youngest. And I was the oldest of four kids that, um, I had been spending 43 years taking care of children, other people's children, my own children, and decided that time was for me. I was already doing energy healing, but just for family and friends. So I decided that it was time for me. I wanted to expand and uh, I kind of came home and told my husband one day, let's sell the living room furniture, get rid of the piano. And I was turning the front of my house into a healing center. Well, that was uh, quite a while ago. And he said, can we not sell the furniture in case this little thing of yours doesn't work out? It worked out great. Uh, the minute I started doing uh, healing on others and taking classes on self-healing, because that's what healing is about. You can't heal others unless you're healing yourself. Uh, so uh, the minute that that happened, I started hearing from spirit. I kind of thought I might be going crazy. And, uh, you know, I'd had some dreams in the past and that came true and kind of was a very intuitive, you know, actually, I thought I was pretty doggone clever. And now I realize I'm not as clever as I thought I was. <laughs> I am blessed and gifted, um, as a, an evidential, uh, medium, uh, I'm able to do psychic energy work, the difference between a psychic and a medium is that a psychic reads your energy. A medium is also a psychic who can communicate with the other side. And sometimes that means your loved ones that have transitioned. It could mean your angels. It could mean ascended masters. So I started this uh, little business and um, it has blown up 
And it's led me to meet people from all over the world, to travel all over the world. Uh, and speaking of traveling, I am taking a spiritual group to India in October, and we still have availability. So if you want to, you can contact me to get more information on this beautiful 10-day spiritual retreat, private in India. Everything's included except your airfare. Uh, five-star hotels, all of your meals. It's it's going to be amazing. I've done this trip before. So if you want to go uh, play with elephants at a preserve and play with monkeys and do yoga in the home of yoga, Rishikesh, India, we are going to hit Rishikesh. We are going to hit Japur, Haridwar, um, Agra to see the Taj Mahal, Delhi, New Delhi and Old Delhi, uh, going to the place that has been trading spaces for thousands of years. So um, if you want more information, you can always go to TammyPetrocelli.com or PikeCreekReiki.com uh, or either of those Facebooks. Tammy Petrocelli Medium or Pike Creek Reiki and Healing Arts Center to get information on that trip. Okay, so uh, not only has the business grown for myself, but now my daughter who, grad who had gone off to college and had been doing Reiki since she was 12, also opened up as a psychic intuitive and she is also working with me. So she will probably be my first guest that we have on this show mm -hmm. in a in a couple of weeks she's headed to greece next week so she won't be able to be with me next week or maybe she will i think she's not leaving till wednesday we'll see so that's my story and i'm sticking to it uh i i really kind of think that um it was the first time in my life, being an Italian Jersey girl, uh, that I was quiet enough to hear spirit talking to me. And, uh, you know, I started doing Reiki on my clients and kind of knew things about them. And uh, always, let me explain something about readings. It should always be about healing. And that's why this is healing energy, energy healing and spirit talk. Because your reading should be about healing. It shouldn't be about someone telling you what you should and shouldn't do. It shouldn't be about someone trying to let you guess who the next boyfriend is or anything like that. It should be about healing not only this side, but the other side. When we transition and we move on to um, the beautiful space that some call heaven, uh, we are there to learn and discuss about what we learned on this plane. So when spirit comes through to talk to you, many times they come through uh, for their own healing. So we are helping them heal at the same time that we are helping the sitter or the person getting the reading heal. So during some of these uh, in these classes or these talks um, that we'll have on uh, energy healing and spirit talk at A1R Radio and Moonstruck TV is helping you to be a better sitter, to get the best reading possible uh, and um, to understand, to know what you should look for uh, in a reader, um, what you should exp experience. Uh, and it should always be tears of joy tears of healing, tears of happiness, if they're tears. There should also be laughter and um, happiness. So um, let me tell you about my book. I don't know how this, let's see, does it come up in the right way? All right. So this is my book, A Midlife Awakening and a Year of Messages from the Ascended Masters. So not only uh, do I do readings, but I also will semi-trance and um, uh, bring messages from ascended masters from the other side. So I've been uh, very blessed that during meditations, this has happened. So a midlife awakening is my story. It's what happened when uh, I awakened as um, a, a psychic and then a medium and how it was foretold to me. So a quick story was I went to a mind body spirit fest and I was getting a reading and I'd gone for the whole weekend in Philadelphia and I was getting a reading. And uh, this guy is telling me that 
I have to be ready. My guides want me to be ready. And I'm like, be ready for what? And he says, well, you're going to be doing what I'm doing. I really thought that I had wasted my money. (laughs) And so he ended up being my first mentor. Um, His story is in the book. The interesting thing about the book, it only takes a couple hours to read, is that if you need daily inspiration, you hold on to this book, you push it, and you stop where you think you need to stop. And I am going to read really quickly the today's message. Um, Today's message was from April 25th, 2017. By your very existence, you are evidence of perfect love. The mothers say it was nothing to do with how you were conceived, where you were conceived, why you were conceived. Just the fact that you were born again is a gift of innocence, innocence and pure love. You must remember that. You must believe that. The mother wants you to show devotion and love to the Supreme Being that they are with him. Do not allow yourself to be convinced by others that your life has less value. If you do not know your value, look within within until you are convinced, until you believe and understand. Give of yourself what you want from others, what we all want, love and acceptance, love and acceptance. So thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, That is Tammy Petricelli, that's two C's and two L's dot com, or Tammy Petricelli Medium on Facebook. Uh, I think I had the D in there, Tammy D Petricelli Medium on Facebook. Pike Creek Reiki and Healing Arts on Facebook and pikecreekreiki.com for more information. And I will see you next Tuesday. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today.